everybody, I'm Rose and this is Atkinson's daughter and today I'm going to be reading you the story and it's called What Small Rabbit Heard? And you can you see that small rabbit on the front? I've got my own small rabbit here. This is Cottontail. She's got a lovely little fluffy Cottontail and also she's very, very soft. Okay. What Small Rabbit Heard? Small Rabbit did not want to go for a walk. It's too cold, I'm too busy, and I'm too tired. It's not cold, it's fresh, said Big Rabbit. You're not busy, you're playing, and you're certainly not tired. Well, it's too windy, it won't be fun. Of course it will be fun, said Big Rabbit. Now off we go. You see the pictures? I'm sure Small Rabbit will enjoy the walk in the end. Outside, the wind howled. Woo! Small Rabbit began to hop and skip to keep himself warm. Big Rabbit wanted Small Rabbit to stay close. Try keep up, she said. But Big Rabbit's words were lost in the wind. What Small Rabbit heard was jump in the mud. So he did. The wind howled. It picked up a pile of leaves and they danced past Small Rabbit. He began to chase them. Big Rabbit shivered and shouted, stay with me, please. Again, her words were lost in the howl of the wind. What Small Rabbit heard was Roll in the leaves! So he did. Soon they came to Thistledown Field. Yippee! yelled Small Rabbit, pointing to the animals. Big Rabbit called to Small Rabbit as she tried to catch up. I want you to wait! The wind howled. What Small Rabbit heard was Open the gate! So he did. You see all the, ra all the little animals escaping? It's like the cow fields near where I live. If you don't, don't leave the gates open, all, all the cows come rampaging down the road. Small Rabbit raced up the hill. It was getting colder and his coat flapped in the wind as he ran. Big Rabbit was still trying to close the gate, but she cried out, Fasten your coat! The wind howled. Woo! What Small Rabbit heard was, Ride on the goat! So he did, and all the way to the top of the hill. Big Rabbit was worried that Small Rabbit might get blown off the top and she shouted as loudly as she could, Keep very still! But it was her words that were blown away and Small Rabbit heard was, Row down the hill! So he did, you see him bumping down the hill like a ball. Big Rabbit was quite out of puff. And she could think of only one way to catch up. She shouted as she rolled, wait for me. She doesn't look very happy rolling down the hill. The wind howled all around. What small rabbit heard was, climb the tree. So he did. Small rabbit swung from a branch. Suddenly, he spotted his rabbit hole on the other side of the stream and he started to the top home. A thought flashed through Big Rabbit's mind. She looked at how dirty Small Rabbit was. She thought of their lovely clean burrow. Small Rabbit, don't go inside, she pleaded. The wind howled. Big Rabbit peeked cautiously into the burrow. She tiptoed in. It was quiet. 
too quiet. Very slowly, she opened the cupboard door. You see all the footprints. They look like small rabbits' footprints leading to the cupboard. I wonder what he actually heard. Boo! Laughed small rabbit. It took me ages to find somewhere to hide, but I did. Small rabbit leapt into big rabbit's arms. Windy walks are lots and lots of fun, he said. And big rabbit and big rabbit had to agree. And you've got a nice picture to finish it off. And that was the story. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!